Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. I got a I got a different type of thing going on today. I got a different type of rant. This is where we practice facts over feelings. I'm gonna enjoy this one, in, especially because it's a little bit different than what I normally do. So this one could run a little bit long. I I ask you to stick with me throughout through it all because we live in a society in which for whatever reason, now it's become even, it's worse than it's ever been, in my opinion, where it's really becoming divisive. And it's either, you, if you if you like that person, you have to hate that person. If you hate that person, you have to like that person. There's no appreciation for anything. So if you like LeBron, you better hate Kevin Durant. And if you like Kevin Durant, you better hate LeBron. They just happen to be two black men. And it's practiced there, too. In the case of the Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark dynamic rivalry, even though it's not much of a rivalry, there is this underlying racial component to it. And it just is what it is. But it's underlying only because people have chosen to make it that way. Because you can appreciate both players for what they do and without turning it into a nasty racial back and forth dialogue, all right? I have read over and over again people, or, you know, people saying all of Caitlin Clark's fans are racist, which is comical because I'm a Caitlin Clark fan and Nick is a Caitlin Clark fan. And I know tons of black men that are, and, and black women for that matter, who are Caitlin Clark fans. So they're all racist. That makes no sense, okay? Th that just makes no sense. And then it'd also be that they're, they, they, they're, they, they're using slurs and all that stuff. Well, I, I will tell you this. I have a page that's heavily on Instagram. We have an Instagram page, Come On Now uh, podcast, where you can see where we've gotten probably 10 million views. We've gotten about almost 2 million on YouTube, but on Instagram, we've gotten 10 million views. And I would see nasty comment after nasty comment after nasty comment. And I didn't really, I, I, I had to stop paying attention to it, to be quite frank, because it would, I'm the type of guy that's going to respond. And in some of these instances, I did respond. Now I've come, I've gotten to the point where I don't respond at all because I just don't care. You, you, you say whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. Say whatever you want. And it can be either way. I don't, I, I really don't care. I, I like comments, but I also know that if I let nastiness get in my spirit, it's going to mess with me, which is why I just don't respond. I don't even forget about respond. I don't even look at them. People comment. Great. People like. Great. I, I'm not going to respond. I'll respond on YouTube. On Instagram, it's vile. It's vile. And it can get vile in both directions because what will happen is someone will say something nasty. And then someone will defend me or my stance with something nasty back. And I don't like it either way. I don't like it either way. I don't like the nastiness. And the nastiness doesn't have to exist, but it does. So what I'm going to do here is, because as you know, all Caitlin Clark fans are racist, I'm going to give you a little glimpse, a little snippet of all the nastiness from, from Angel Reese fans or anti, let's say anti Caitlin Clark fans. Because you might not be an Angel Reese fan. You just might be anti Caitlin Clark. So I'm not going to lump you in there. But I'm, what I'm also not going to do at the end of this is sit here and say, all oh, Angel Reese fans are racist assholes. I'm not going to do that. Because that would be unfair. Because not everyone is. In fact, the vast majority are not. But let's take a look at some of the nasty. And you're going to see some names repeat who comically sit here and say that we're trash, but yet they comment on every single video that we do. And you'll notice them. So let's just jump right on in and look at some of these comments that we've got here. Let me share the screen with you. <clears throat> do, do, do. Here we go. I love this. This is from Wiggly Felton. This was six weeks ago. So I did a little digging. Mind you, this is just a fraction of what is there. You want to go check out the comments made? You can go look at Instagram. Go, go follow us at Come On Now Podcast. 
Go look at all these nasty grams. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I love this idiotic narrative that she's missing shots on purpose. This is about Angel Reese to get her own rebound because that would be padding her stats. Plus, when Caitlin Clark went four for 14, one of seven from three against the Aces, how many of her own shots did she get back? Just curious. Again, this is someone who's just being, what, what does that mean? Idiotic narrative? How was how it idiotic, Wiggly? How? Wiggly? Here we go. Here's the next one. I wish there was a faster way to do this. Oh, here's a good. That's good. Please stop. This is from Clear Cut 332004. 14 weeks ago. Please stop trying to mask anti black racist racism. So I'm a double racist. Anti black racist racism with pretending that the conversation is primarily about women's basketball. Our foundational black American people can see through all the hatred. So I replied. This is when I was replying more. Where did you come up with this one? So I guess all, all on ESPN and Fox Sports who are black Americans are anti-black because this has been said by just about every black male pundit there is. What, what is the conversation about then? Do tell. The topic was literally the WNBA Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark and them making the all-star team. Go watch the full video. Sorry it flies right over your head. Maybe get a real profile, not a burner account, and someone can take you seriously. Here was another one. From Harrison DeLuna. Yep, he should have said she's trash, unathletic. Looks like she was about to fall forward when she runs. He was just being nice. Another one says, don't judge a book by its cover, buddy. You don't know if his athletic. Because some people have this tendency to, you know, to attack me athletically. They, they like to attack, attack me and say, I, I never played sports, which is ridiculous. Just I'm 46 years old. Do I play sports now? No, I'm 46. Yes, I'm sure there's guys that are in their late 40s and early 50s who still play sports. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. But when I was in high school, when I was a, a kid, I played sports every single day, and I wasn't bad. I was good enough. I was good enough that I could have gone and played Division II football, which to some people might be shit. but Playing Division II football is not easy. It's football. And I could have played Division II football in college. I didn't want to. The shit hurt too damn much to want to do that every day. No, I didn't want to. But I could have done it. <clears throat> you don't know if his athletic and his, his past. What if he didn't? Just because you've never played a sport doesn't mean you can't study the game. And See, this is someone defending me. Um... But yeah, this guy, Henderson DeLula, yeah, you know, it's just another insult. Um, okay, here's another one. This is, like I said, it's always racial. It's racial, 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 racial. It's nonstop. Johnny8465. This is all Instagram, folks. So if you want to visit their pages, I, I, I won't. I don't want you to go bully them or do anything mean. You don't need to. I just want to point out how the nasty comments come and they're typically racially they're either rich they either it make, make they either talk, talk, talk call me racist they say i'm fat or they say i'm bald yeah i'm, I'm bald yeah i shaved my head okay you know there are women that actually like bald men guys men men out there because it's typically men that do that I never see so many men insult weight in my life when men are predominantly the people that are overweight, but it's fine. And I'm not some bowling ball. I'm 250. <laughs> my range, my my weight, my weight ranges from 250 to 260, 270. And I don't look at it. No one thinks I'm what I weigh, but hey, whatever. Most people think I weigh 230. How typical to see yourself, how typical to never see yourself as a racist. You never do. Again, Mr. Couch referee. Never played. How can you judge anyone? You need to focus on that hairline that went into retirement. So he hit on racism, unathletic, fat, 
and bald in the same post. And I replied, okay, whatever you say, racist for an opinion on basketball. You're behind your profile without a picture and no post. The strength of someone who won't show her face or on her comments, your lack of intelligence is evident. See, I was replying then. That was 11 weeks ago. <clears throat> Let's give you another one. I don't know if I'm going to get through all these, but we'll try. Here we go. Um, is this the one? Uh, yeah, this one made some nasty comments before that I replied to, obviously. Obviously, you hear this guy, man, you commented on a team that won gold for USA. Shut up, then the clown face. And, it was, and France had four players that were drafted by the NBA. This guy, this guy was insulting. Um, let me, if I can find it, I'll find that first so I can give you some context. <clears throat> this is where it gets better. This is another one that gets is, is good. And, and I find them all so amusing because they are, they just, they're not stop. Stop giving, okay, Sky Booth, this is a female. Sky Booth, stop giving this dude views. Hey, Sky, Sky, it, it, it's Rudy over here. You're a fucking idiot. You realize that you commenting on my post is what gives me more views, you dolt. Your brain cells. You want me to help you there? The algorithms of Instagram and YouTube by you watching and more so you commenting. You're actually the reason I'm getting more views. Wow, you're a freaking Einstein there. Someone should educate you on computer algorithms. Stop giving this dude views. He's another AR troll. No, I'm not. I'm a realist on sports. There's a difference, my sweet. You have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, let's keep on going. A grown man speaking negatively on a 22-year-old. See, this is what's so stupid. Because when it's men's basketball, no one ever says anything about commenting on, the, on a professional male. It's funny. Men can take whatever they get because they're pros. Now it's the women, and now it's you're attacking a woman. No, I'm not attacking anyone. I'm critiquing a sorry basketball player who's getting paid to play basketball who can't play basketball. That's what I'm doing. So when I say when I speak about Bronny James, who's 19, it's okay, right? When people talk about LeBron because he's 39 and a man, it's okay, right? It's only because she's 22. Oh no, 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 no. It's only because she's a female. That's that's the truth. Because it, it, it's just a joke. <clears throat> a grown man speaking negatively on a 22-year-old and speaking negatively about someone he personally doesn't know. Based on what the media shows you. No, I base it on what she shows us. She shows us. I don't rely on media to show me anything because the media is not showing us anything. She the one, she's the one that shows it, which is ultimately clips and snippets. Doesn't know the game nor her game. Sweetheart, Sky Booth, you turd. I actually coached the game. I coached the game. And I coached players better than her. Keep on commenting, Sky, you imbecile. Oh, the Lord have mercy. Let me find this one. Oh, all right. Now I can now I can put it into context. Here. So this guy, Kennedy, Kennedy Eek, or Ken Kennedy 26. This was a comment about getting. A, a fat kid to eat cake. All right. And Nick was on this with me. Two clowns that eat plenty of cake. So he's insulting weight. That's what he's doing. And yet, again, I replied, you keep funding my cake eating with your comments. I'm being a sarcastic ass back. And he says, I will continue to comment on your shit. And my comments hopefully will stop others from fellow from fellow your from August following your sorry ass podcast. Kennedy Yeek, you're a loser. You're a loser because you obviously, I said, feel free to. You obviously have no concept or understanding of the algorithms involving social media. You are supporting and getting more people to actually watch. So thank you, brain dead. You brain dead. My God, I feel like Uncle Phil and freaking in, in Fresh Prince right here. 
You math whiz. Stupid. Like, bro, man, you, you're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. And that's what makes this thing so fun at times is to just show how dumb some people are. They don't understand the algorithm of YouTube and Instagram. So this is another await insult. Um, all right, this is where you get stupid. Okay, another stupid one. Here we go. Here's the here's criticizing athleticism again. Oh, this is from Dale eight eight six zero. I should show you a picture of Dale eight eight six zero. He looks like a like he's a little bit slow with chromosomes. Just so you, he looked like that. He looked like his bottom jaw is like cupping his nose. But yeah, I don't want to insult someone's appearance. Because that would make me just as bad as they are. Ah, oh, shit. You know what I did? I don't care. You have no problem insulting mine, so I can come back to you because I never talked to you. I don't know you. But you don't know me. And your first response is to insult my appearance or insult my ability. Oh, they just have a gold medal. This is not the, the U.S. Olympic team. Oh, they just have a gold medal, though. I mean, neither one of these brothers here look like they're too athletic. But, yeah, they're judging some really highly skilled basketball player. All right. I replied here. One of the guys in the video is Nick Taylor. Nick Taylor played professional football for 10 years in the CFL, NFL, and AFL. Guess what, folks? Just to let you know, Nick has just been called back to the CFL. He's leaving Wednesday or Thursday and will be playing for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers next week. He's 36. So let me tell you about his athleticism. You can criticize mine and say, I'm not, I'm not nowhere near Nick's athleticism. Not a chance in hell. He's 36 years old. He's going back to play because they called him because they lost a DB. Like, we need somebody. We call Nick. Nick is 36. He's that great of an athlete that they would call him back at 36. So he's going to uh, – and, by the way, Winnipeg is in first place. They're not bottom of the barrel. They're in first place. They're calling him back for now, for the, the last game of the season, next week, and the playoffs. So Nick could come back a – Four-time Grey Cup champion, potentially, in a month. Yeah, he ain't athletic, idiot. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, this one here. This one here is funny. This is a black woman here who clearly stands on the L, L side of LGBTQ and has commented on a lot of stuff. Y'all are so impressed that a person without melanin is doing well. Okay, so we're attacking Caitlin Clark because she's white. Um, that's what she's doing. She's attacking Caitlin Clark. I get it. Y'all impressed. But people of color, when did this term people of color come back? When I was a kid, you're black. You're black. Now it became like a, a technical thing where it's people of color. By the way, sweetheart, Tanya L. Davis, technically, technically, while I may be pale skinned as hell, I could technically be considered a person of color. I know it sounds stupid, right? Why? Because my background is Hispanic, Latino, Latino, and Italian. Those are people who are darker than white people. I just happen to be pale. My dad was born in Cuba. So, I mean, technically, I'm not saying I am, but some people would say it. I'm not one, but some people would say they're a person of color because they're not, they're not white. They're not white American or European American, descended from Europe, from England. But okay, people of color have been showing up and showing out for centuries. For centuries, I don't know that you've been alive for centuries, but okay. And, and hey, great. You know what? I love many, many, many black athletes, sweetheart. I love many black athletes. My favorite athletes of all time, for the most part, are black athletes, people of color. Y'all go ahead and praise who 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 like and will and well will do the man. You need to learn how to spell. Holy Lord, we'll do the same. A 100, 100, 2024, 20, and nothing's changed. You're right. Nothing has changed because of people like you. Because if you don't think Caitlin Clark's a great basketball player, you're a moron. Tanya. Oh, here. Oh, just so you know, this is Tanya. Because she posts so many times, I just wanted to share who she is. This is Tanya right there. 
She's a hardworking, fun-loving individual who's reached a time in her life that she's not going to put up with the BS anymore. Man, she doesn't seem very fun-loving. She seems like an utter bitch. If I had to be in a room with her for five minutes, I'd probably shoot myself. Here we go. The biggest biggie BB, whatever the hell that crap is. The biggest big biggie BB. People like you is why the sport can't advance. CC is not even the best player that didn't get picked. Is this sport about is this about sports or is it a popularity contest? This is about the Olympic team, and he's claiming that she wasn't the best player that didn't get picked. So he's claiming that Arika Gumbawale was probably better. Okay. Except that Kaylin Clark was the best player that didn't get picked. And it's not even remotely close. But you believe what you want, and I will believe what I want. And actually, the player who finished first team All-NBA ahead of every single guard who was picked? Yeah. How do you like them apples? First team all WNBA. Did that remind you who was on that team? Hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, the only player who was on that team was Sabrina. Sabrina. So Sabrina was the only other player who was on that team, but she was picked behind Caitlin. Okay. Caitlin Clark finished fourth in WNBA voting. NBA, NBA MVP voting. She finished ahead of every single guard that got picked. So she wasn't the best player that didn't get uh, Okay. You're wrong, but okay. I said we can argue that it's both, but she's definitely the best player who didn't get picked. Arike is pretty good. They should both be on the roster. And I agree. I believe they should have both been on the roster. But, of course, this is about a white player. All right, this is a combination here. Oh, I got two, two and one. She was going to break the record regardless. She held A, B, and A, S to single points, LOL. I don't know who the hell A, S is. Um, a, B is, a, I don't know, Leah Boston, but I, I guess this is about Angel Reese. You mad she broke the record at home? Are you not mad? CC kept shooting and showboating to at 31 points, LOL. No defense, but wants to hide behind her teammates to shoot, LOL. Whatever, dude. I don't even know what you're talking about. Here's another one. Here's a response from Flowers saying, of course, you notice every single guy here that talks, that, that speaks negatively is a black dude. I hate to say it, but every single dude that's, that's like, oh, dude, guys, guys, Angel Reese ain't going to fuck you. She won't let you stick it in. Do you defend black women in your neighborhood the way you defend Angel Reese? Do you? Do you defend the black women in your neighborhood? Do you, do you defend your mother the way you defend Angel Reese? Probably not. Thank you. You know the way this clown, here we go, insult, clown with podcast have to talk about the same thing to try to boost their followers. So now I'm a clown. All right. And your dumb ass is here supporting me. So I think you might just be the clown. All right. Next. Okay. This is this is the first one of it for this guy. Leggett. She was out the whole third quarter, you clown. So you are that mad that she scored her points to break the record? CC was up by 20 and she kept shooting. Was that stat padding? Career high form her and you celebrate from her, but record breaking full angel angle and a he a monster. You are a clown. Wow, you need a fucking dictionary, you imbecile. Holy Lord, bro, you are you did you miss school? Did you miss grammar class? How about vocab? Because you surely you, you, you can't spell. Oof. Boy, boy, oh boy. All right. Ah, here we go. Look who's back. Remember, I told you she'd be back again. 
Tanya, Tanya Davis is here again. Please, can y'all stop this BS narrative 100, 100, 100, 100. She leaves the league in turnover. She pushes off all the time to make a shot. I will be so glad when this shit is over and y'all see the truth. Chicago, along with Vegas and other teams, have sold out games. Stop this shit. Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. Oh, my God. Have you been watching Cheryl Swoops? Is that where you get your information from? The biggest reject in history? One of the greatest players who's turned into the biggest bitter Betty in the history of the world? Wow. This is crazy. Man, I should have done this live. Man, this should be a live session. Holy Lord. This would be cackling everywhere. This BS narrative. Hey, Tanya. Rookie of the year. 66 of 67 first place votes. There was some idiot who gave one their angel and probably should lose the vote. And didn't Caitlin get named first team all in all WNBA? I, I could have swore I saw that somewhere. Yeah, I just did. Um, pushes off all the time to make a shot. Yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I hope you saw the truth. Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Best guard in the WNBA, as I said. Help. Best player in the WNBA. Chicago along with Vic. Chicago didn't sell out one freaking game at home. No, they didn't. Sorry. You're wrong. You're wrong. I can show you the stats. They sold out a game in New York. They sold out a, oh, I'm sorry. They sold, They didn't sell out a game that did not include Caitlin Clark, except for in New York. And I think they sold out in L.A., so maybe two. Vegas plays in a Band-Aid box. So, no, they didn't sell out shit. I'm not going to give credit for selling out 11,000 tickets. Go play in a 20,000-seat arena without Caitlin. See if you sell out. Go play T-Mobile without Caitlin Clark. See if you sell out. You didn't do it with Angel Reese. Folks, you see what I'm talking about? Oh, here we go. Richard Black, 619. Bless your little heart. Caitlin Clark is overrated and overhyped. The fact she takes a lot of shots and misses a lot of shots. At this point, okay, 13 weeks ago, at this point, Caitlin Clark was averaging 12 shots a game. 12. She also turns the ball over a lot and her defense is subpar. The fact that a lot of Caucasians, oh, here we go, the race thing here. Gotta go racist. I told you, it's, it's racial. I'm the racist, but everyone brings up racial shit. I'm the racist. I've never brought up Angel Reese's, her, her skill. I only brought up the fact that you like her so much because she's black. Because if she were white, you wouldn't like her because guess what? If Caitlin Clark was a black woman, I'd love her too because I think she's amazing. I think she's amazing. So, but if Angel Reese were white, you would think she sucks. And that's the difference. I love Steph Curry. He's one of my favorite players of all time. He literally plays the game just like Caitlin Clark, except that she passes the ball better than he does. They play the game very, very similarly. The fact that a lot of Caucasians started watching the WNBA because of Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is not even the best player in the WNBA. You guys crack me up. Okay, great. That's your opinion. And actually right now, she's arguably one of the two or three best players in the WNBA. So I guess your heart is hurting. You're broken right now. Oh, here we go. Here's the athletic comment again. Johnny, oh, remember Johnny? Johnny, 8465. How many games have you played? You who you who put stock in your seemingly racist opinion? What's my racist opinion? That someone's not a good basketball player? Look like you never played b-ball or got picked for a team, but got something to say. Be quiet. Johnny, I played high school basketball, high school football, high school baseball for a bit, high school track. Um I played volleyball at one point, not in high school. I played tennis. I mean, hey, I swam. I mean, hey, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't play any sports. You're right. You're right. I didn't play any sports. And I replied. This is when I was replying. I said, the best you got, my racist opinion. My goodness. So having some sense when you say, have some sense when you say something so foolish, my racist opinion. So I am not a fan of a player that makes it a racist opinion to you. So I should say that if you don't like a player who happens to be white, then your opinion is racist too. Silly nonsense. Yep. Oh, uh, here we go. Another one. Another one. 
Michael McCoy, 42, like them white folks was going to all get on their tractors and go to Paris if she would have been handed a spot on the team. Yeah, handed, you know, I know, earned clown emojis. Other than her going over there being a distraction and basically a mascot, you mean like Diana Taurasi was a mascot? You mean that all the guards that couldn't do craft for five games were mascots because they all stunk? Outside of Cock Hopper for a couple and Jackie Young for a game, they all stunk. Um, what would they have needed for her for? I don't know, getting people layups. She wouldn't have done nothing against that physical defense France was playing other than turn the ball over and cost us the game. You're an idiot, dude. You're an idiot. But let's go. Let's just, just jump back. The white folks was going to get on all their tractors. Really? Really? The white folks were going to get on their tractors? What if uh, a white person said something that might culturally be an attack on a cultural thing for black people? How would that come across? Not good, right? But this is okay. Get on the tractor. So they're all farmers. So all the Caitlin Clark, all the Caitlin Clark fans, all the white people who are Caitlin Clark fans are farmers. They all have tractors. I live in Pompano Beach, Florida. I don't have no damn tractor. I don't live in a farm. I live in a city. What the hell's wrong with you? Like that's stupid. And for those people who have tractors, again, what 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 difference does it make? You, 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 so that it's just insult. <laughs> stupid. Oh, here we go. Y'all ever at AOMA, whatever. I can't even, um, Amar, forget it. I'm not even trying to pronounce this fake name. Y'all ever noticed that the most, the ones that critique the most are the most unathletic ones? So Nick replied, you can out athletic, you can out, you can't, he meant to say you can't, you can't out athletic me on your best day. And I know that for a fact. Nick is 5'9 and could dunk a basketball. Before his Achilles tear, he could dunk, he could dunk a basketball. 5'9. All right. Here's another one. Now they're attacking Nick because now he's an Uncle Tom or a coon or whatever they want to call him. Um, wow. You too, bro. What's your end game? And he replies, you too, bro, question mark, just talking about what I see from a basketball perspective. If that bothers you, then I don't know what to say. You see, they're going at, they're going at Nick in that racial way, too. Now it's, oh, brother, you, you, how can you do that to us, brother? Oh, my God, you're a brother. Man, please. Oh, here is a, here's a nice comment. Here's a nice comment. This is a comment from the Gwen Manning. I appreciate you, Gwen. Because in this video, I can tell you, I was saying, I don't like Angel Reese's game, but I give her credit for she works hard. She rebounds the ball well, blah, blah, blah. I said a nice complimentary things about her. But yeah, I think her game, her offensive game is putrid. I'm not going to sit here and lie about it. I'm never going to lie about it. Facts over feelings, remember? I agree. If you don't like them, got to give credit where credit is due. 11 starts for being a decent person. And Nick replied to this. Gwen, you would think that that's you would think that's the case, but these comments don't like the praise with the critique of it. And that's the biggest thing that exists in all this is that you don't like to be critiqued. You want the praise, but you don't want the criticism. You can't take the criticism, but you only want praise. If you want to have a league that actually gets watched by people, they'll be able to take both. All right. Here we go. Now you're gonna see a couple of uh, a person who appears a lot. Picky Wilson, too. Remember when this guy said the sky were better without? Never mind. We'll just allow him to wallow in his own ignorance. Yeah, I said the sky were better without Angel Reese. They were. They were. But the whole team got hurt. Camilo Cardoso sat also. Kennedy Carter sat. Missing half the team. Naturally, you're probably going to lose. And you had a coach who didn't know what to do. But yeah, they were better. And this is the guy. And oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't share the video here. I didn't share it. Andrew. Okay, so that's the first one. Picky Wilson. Andrew Feltick. Now, Andrew Feltick, 76. This guy lives in Indianapolis. Yeah, Andrew, I know where you live. And you're not easy, not hard to find. You live in Indianapolis. You don't like white people, even though you're a white boy. 
You have a mixed child there in the picture with you. Hey, good, good for you, man. I got two mixed children. I have a black wife. Where's your wife? You have a wife or did you just knock up a black chick? Curious. You can share with us. Did you just knock someone up? Or are you married to that black woman when you have a black child with? Well, congratulations for you, homie. This is what he says. I think he's a bald lesbian myself. Really? A bald lesbian? Okay. Folks, Andrew Feldhaig lives on my Instagram page. I have never, if you want to tell me that this man's in love with me, I would believe it. This man lives on my Instagram page. He lives on it. He never leaves. He's on every post I've done in the past two months. And there's more coming. This is just an, an example of him. He's comical. Brother, get a job. And then he'll tell you, oh, when I had my Instagram page, da, 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 I had all these views. Yeah, you're probably not out of business. You're such a capper. It's such a joke. Man, go beat your meat somewhere, buddy. Then it gets better here. Wu Gambino. This is some Hispanic looking dude. Dude, you definitely raised your voice towards your mother as a child. Probably still do. You're basically a chick in a bald beard dude body. Let the women gossip about other women. It's what they do. Really? So now you're talking about my mother? I raised my voice at my mother because I have a podcast? Is that your logic? I have a so did Stephen A. Smith raise his voice at his mother? Uh, man, you're 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 an idiot. You're an idiot. And of course, I'm a chick with a bald. Be uh, what, what? Wu Gambino, I <laughs> folks, I'm gonna show you Wu Gambino's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you Wu Gambino looks like his wife. He looks like he married his sister. I know I have a picture of this guy somewhere here. I'll find it. Don't worry, it's in here somewhere. Here we go. Another one. Kevin Wilson, 7246. This fool sat there and let him just talk crazy. He's talking about Nick. The stupidity of this whole video, setting records, but she isn't good. She's a rookie leading the WNBA rebounds. This is a goofball. So Nick replies, who said she isn't good? Clean out your ears, my guy. And I sat there because he spoke facts. So Kevin Wilson replies, Clean out your ears. He is giving backhanded compliments. Don't like her game? You go learn English and then learn when someone is downplaying someone. No, I can speak on both accords. I can say I can compliment here and I can also critique there. I'm sorry it flies by your head, Kev. I'm sorry that your intellect only is this big, size of a peanut hole. Oh, this this guy's a clown. This one here. This one's funny as hell. This is a white dude who looks like he's married to his sister as well. Sean C. Wright. I thought for sure I had already blocked this blowhard. Then block away, buddy, as you keep watching and commenting. You didn't, you know you didn't block away. You probably have me on your favorites list. You probably dream about me. Let me find a picture of that weirdo. Oh, here, oh here's a good one. Here's a good one. Bro, relax. This is from BC Black Cat 90. B Bro, relax. Get a wife and a wife. Go diet or something. It's not that serious. Well, I have a wife. I have a wife. So thank you for your concern. It's very important to me that you are concerned about my love life and my personal relationships. I have a wife and I have kids. So I'm good. Maybe you don't have that and you need that. I don't know. Why are you worried about my diet? Is my diet bothering you? Does my diet bother you? I'm just curious. It's amazing how many men are so fixated on how other men physically look. I, I, I mean, we must be in a real fluid society right now where dudes are quietly doing dudes but don't want anyone else to know about it because they are so concerned about how I physically look. It's hilarious. Here we go. Big row, big rows in the house. Big worms in the house. Big row 54. Who are you showing yourself to be? Yeah, well, he's holding a fish in the middle of a freaking uh, river somewhere. Your racism is showing loud and clear. No matter how, now matter how much you whine, CC still ain't top 35. 
or on Team USA. <laughs> How that age, you moron. What sports team did you ever play on? I played on your mama's. Ask her about it. Top 35. Girls first team on WNBA, you clown. My racism. Maybe your racism is strong when you say she's not even a top 35 player in the WNBA. You sound silly, guy. Say hi to your mom for me. Karen Porter. Here's a woman. This guy has a hate agenda. He's a clown. And I sent her a kiss. Okay, here's another one that wishes. Joe Bang. LMAO, you live on the internet for validation. You and your shitty sports take LMAO. You and your partner both suck. Find a real job, goofy LMAO. I, especially when you your co-host is a couch potato. Joe Bang, I make half a million dollars a year. Not doing this. Ooh. Hurts, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Trust. Oh, this one. This is the guy. Poppy Grant. I talked about Poppy Grant some time ago because Poppy Grant lives on my shit all the time. I got another one who lives. Poppy Grant. Anyone can have a podcast these days. Yeah, you're right. Anyone can. So can you. But you have no one that wants to watch you. That's the difference. You're watching me, buddy. You're watching me. You click on every video I do. You comment on every video I do. Yeah, anyone can do it. Then why aren't you? Yeah, and people replied and defended me. Where's the lie, though? No one says, yes, since the beginning. And anyone can have Even you. You're right. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Here's another one based on race. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep some more for later on when I when I get on with Ben Daniel tonight at eight o'clock, but uh, eight thirty. But uh, here we go. Why is white people so triggered? Why is Sean Depp so grammatically flawed? Does CC winning or losing make a difference in your life? No. Does Angel Reese winning or losing make a difference in yours? Ask me. I'm a, I have a podcast. I'm doing content. I'm talking about topics. You don't have to watch. Please explain. You spend whatever time talking about these things for what gain in your life. Please, and you spend your time on my page commenting. Explain. Do tell. I'll wait. Oh, this guy's a lot. This guy shows up a lot. Row in town. Row in town. This dude is a born hater who has nothing constructive going on in his life. And I replied, yet yeah, you keep on commenting, living rent free in your head. Here we go. Antoinette and Aurora. This one's funny. Stop throwing tantrums. I have watched all games. You're just loser, lossers. What's a losser? CC is in the USA where she belongs. I'm a losser. Here we go. This is back to the Team USA. So Marcus Thomas 584 looked like he, I mean, I don't know how old this dude looked, but hey, he's on my page because they all love me, but they all claim that they hate me. They all claim that I'm stupid and all that other shit. So who would have watched if Clark would have been on the team? Nobody but a bunch of Clark delusionals who would have been crying because she wasn't getting enough playing time. If she had been on the team, she'd have started. Team USA lost nothing without Clark. No, they almost lost the gold medal. Without Clark, but a few people that they don't care about like you. Nah, actually, they lost about 10 million viewers. Because if you didn't know and you listened to different interviews, there were journalists all over the world that wanted to talk to Caitlin Clark because they all thought she'd be there. People all over, all over the world. You know how many viewers we have from Australia, from, from Europe, who wanted to see Caitlin Clark? See, you have no idea what you're talking about. No one cared about seeing Dinah Taurasi for the sixth time. Nobody to watch her sit on the bench. Their guard play was horrible, buddy. We're delusionals. Yeah, yeah. You know how many people watched the Olympic the Olympic gold medal game? Three million. Three million. You know how many watched it four years ago? I think like seven. Something that was more than three. That's for damn sure. And this one actually is actually true. Right here. This is true. 
y'all Clark fans only care about ratings. How long y'all going to make videos on this topic? Hey, and I replied, as long as you keep on commenting on them, we'll keep on making them. Really? That's what we do. That's what we the content created is content that people are asking to see. That's what people want to see. They want to hear opinions on that and comments on that. And all my stuff is objective. I'll tell you right now, I'm watching. I'm going to watch the game at three o'clock today. I'll watch it. I'm going to watch the game today in full. This is attack on Nick. This is dirtbag stuff. Rosie95423. What color is your baby mama? First off, baby mama, Nick is married. I I'm sorry that the, like, the concept of marriage for you is not there. And you want to live a stereotype? Nick is a married man. Since you want to bring your son into the picture, Nick's wife is black. He's a married man to a black woman. Does it matter, Mr. or Miss Fake Page? She the color that will pop you in your mouth if you talk mess to her. <laughs> oh, folks, this is this dorky one here. This is the picture of a, uh, this is the dorky looking dude who says that um, he thought he blocked me. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Is that his mom or his sister or is he married to his mom and his sister? I don't know. He's embarrassing because he's a. I feel bad. He, he embarrasses all Giants fans in the existence of the world. <clears throat> here we go. Here, here is uh, Mr. Pip Daddy with a top hat in his picture. You going to church? He's a preacher. Got the damn. He, he, he all suited and booted with his little, t little pimp hat. I mean, how, how you three or fours doing, Alan Young fifty two? I know you're pimping on the street. You go to the pimps and hoes ball? Yeah, you probably do. No, you're wrong and look like you can't even play. She would kill you all this from your people who only watch Caitlin Clark and don't know basketball. Man, I would mutt Angel Reese when I was in high school. Stop it. Stop it. She could be taller than me. I would mutt Angel Reese when I was in my high school prime. You put her right now against me in my high school prime, I would dog walk her. Dog walk her. Please. Oh, look at Wu Gambino. Here he's back again. Remember, I, I, I tell you, there's people that they hate, they hate so much, they love it. They hate so much. Wu Gambino, again, you're definitely the lamest dude on earth. You might as well go do reviews on Barbie dolls since you're so interested in women's interests. This is sports. They want coverage. They're getting it, and now they don't like it. Oh, Wu Gambino, go, go lick your sister's, your sister's twat. I don't know what to tell you because you look like you're married to your mama too. Flipping loser. Oh, my word. Women's interests? So men should not cover women's sports, then, is what you're saying. Believe me, most of us would love to not have to do it. Most of us would run away from it if we could. And then we'd get called misogynists and sexists because we're not doing it. That's all I got for this. I'm going to talk. I'm going to save some of these for tonight. And I'm going to have this be a comedy, promise you, with a whole bunch of viewers. We're going to enjoy ourselves. But I thank you so much, folks. Facts over feelings. This is just an example of the nasty shit that I got all season long from people that claim that only Caitlin Clark's fans are racist. But should I include all these people and say that they're all racist? No, that would be even fair, right? Because they're not. But this is just an example that it exists. Facts over feelings. Come on now.